Hello, my beautiful Gemini Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your December 1st through 31st, 2023 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective reading for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, I'd like to thank you in advance for the likes and subscribes. Remember that great old algorithm that works out all these beautiful things for us? Well, it needs you to click that like button in order to send my video out to people who've never seen it before. And I know you want other people to enjoy it as much as you do, so thank you in advance as we begin. Ooh, that fool is coming out strong. We have the fool energy, which is a brand new beginning, closing the door to the past. And it's a good thing because the past doesn't want to stick around you got the Scorpio death card coming in to wipe the slate clean the fool is the energy of stepping into the new and having a brand new adventure very excited energy he's very lighthearted and gregarious so very happy celebration as you smoothly transition into your new found wonderfulness and clear the slate from the old this is the cosmic garbage man he comes in to take out the trash releasing you from old toxic energies a purifying, cleansing, and releasing. He also cleans up the joint while he's at it and gives you a fresh new start with that beautiful magnolia blossom there. So as you begin with both of these working in your favor, this is an amazing start. Let's see what else we have, my Geminis. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light, divine spirit, Ooh, the sun card with the fool. So talk about a new start. That's the, that's the opportunity of a lifetime energy. It is the happiest card in tarot. So the alignment of clearing that old stuff out gives you a brand new open energy. This is where something comes in that's been waiting for a moment for you to get in that place where you're aligned. And this is divine alignment. The sun card is the happiest card in tarot. And it means this is your moment. Do not procrastinate on it. And please don't chicken out at the last minute because the only way to fail is if you don't show up for it. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So you saw this Five of Swords just volunteer at the very last minute, and this may be how you're feeling right now. You're thinking, what are you talking about, Victory? I'm, I'm in the middle of a battle of my life here. Well, guess what? If you look real close at this card, the battle's over and you've won. You're the one left standing holding all the other people's swords. So in this energy, it means you've won and you don't know it yet. It hasn't been pro proclaimed. Okay. It's not official. So when you stand in this place and hold the ground you've gained and wait for that notification or wait for that energy to move in your direction, that's where you can actually take your steps in the right direction from this point. You don't have to keep battling, but you certainly don't want to retreat. Stand and collect your winnings, my darlings, because it is coming in. The universe will, f will meet you where you are. Just don't be moving around a whole lot. It'll get you eventually, but why run from it? Yep, here it comes. <laughs> the Knight of Wands. This is the fast moving energy being told it's time to take action or you've, you've got, you know, this door is open for you. Here's your opportunity. Whatever it's telling you, you're ready to go with it as soon as you're able to sit in this energy and realize you actually did better than you thought. And it may feel like you're still in the battle. Don't sweat the small stuff. Just keep your intention on this victory's already won. I've already, I've already put myself in the energy of being the victor. And so it is. Queen of Wands energy is being in charge, actually having the fertile energy for new growth. It is a fire sign queen, so it means you can take the actions you need and create whatever you want. Now, this could be a position of power where you're a supervisor or a leader. It can also be the energy of ha having your own business or creating something new. Very solid energy of being able to take the steps necessary in order to create 
and you're getting another page. This is the page of swords and he's coming in to tell you it's not another page but a page the page of swords is coming in to tell you that he's going to bring you whatever information you need whether it's a divine download or it's the energy of someone telling you it can also be you overhearing something that sparks a creative moment in your brain that happens to me all the time uh, you can hear somebody else talking about something that doesn't really it's not exactly the same situation but their method may be what you need the universe comes with all kinds of information in many different ways so be open and receptive yes Letting go of what no longer serves you. So this is leaving behind all the things that you don't need to carry with you as you move forward. Sometimes this is letting go of an addiction, letting go of a bad habit, or a person that's holding you back. It can also be giving two weeks notice, but this is in your household energy. This can mean packing and moving as well. This is household, relationship, love life, and spiritual life. And... It's saying keep your focus on the, keep your eye on the prize because you're in the momentum. The flow is here and you've got the power to be able to move forward without any issue. So don't let yourself get dragged down in the, in the energy of looking away because you're already in the energy of victory. And that big clump you just heard, if you heard that on the mic, <laughs> that's my cat Obi because I have the door shut. <laughs> He's actually beating up the door. So. King of Pentacles is the energy of the wonderful coming in here with the very solid, grounded, stable energy financially. And you're actually sitting pretty here because that king is also known as King Midas. So it's very stable energy as you sit in anchored in your, in your beautiful throne there. Yes, money, money, money. Here we come. Page of Pentacles. Well, that may be why you're moving. It's for the job that you're trying to get. And there's the Page of Pentacles offering that financial agreement. And we'll take that with a kick in our step here because he's coming in to offer it to you. You get to negotiate if you need to. We've got the Hermit, the Virgo Major Arcana, which is using his soul's light. So this is, this is your discernment here. You're the seeker. And that's what this card represents is the seeker. And he's on his soul path. But he's using his intuition and internal guidance to allow him to see the pitfall so that he doesn't step off the edge there. So be discerning. Don't just fall in hook, line, and sinker. And it's something you will have to learn or brush up your skills on and maybe on the job training as well because this is polishing your skills to bring in more abundance as you get this knowledge. So the apprentice card into the, into the mastery. That's the Eight of Pentacles. Well, if you're looking to have a new place to live, this is a really great card for that. It's also aligning you with your happy family, being in a place of harmony, peace, happiness, joy, healing, love, abundance, all good things because this is the representation of your best possible life now. Ten of Cups. Yes, yes, yes. Tens are fabulous. And that one is a good one when you're trying to go for what you want. And we're going to start our next uh, clarifying deck with the High Priestess. The High Priestess is the energy of allowing yourself to be guided without resisting, without, without pushing back on the universe. Sometimes we have to surrender our, what our thoughts are uh, as far as how we thought something would come to pass and let the universe show us the way. Remember, you've got this card here telling you to do that. So let your higher self guide you. It will never steer you wrong. If it's, if it's sending you somewhere that's off the beaten path, um, that's when you need to sit down and meditate and see why you're being told this. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Ooh, we got the world card, and I just realized I did something, so I'm going to stop there. Y'all going to have to forgive me. I'm used to doing this old way. <laughs> 
<laughs> for so many years. I forgot your near future. So let's keep it going. Don't overthink this. Stay in the energy of having what you need as your guide. And don't worry if it makes sense or not. Let your mind take a, take a breather on this because the universe is going to guide you. You already know you have the high, higher self as your underlier. So let, your, let yourself imagine what you want and don't try to see how it's going to, you know, don't try to make it, like design it. Let the universe design it. You don't need to micromanage. So let go of your need for the logic to happen. And sometimes we do that when we have a really great outcome that we know we want to create. Sometimes we start to block ourselves with we can't see how it would happen. Well, the universe doesn't need you to do that part. It just needs you to have the vision. And it's going to help you. These are the seraphim. It's going to pour you a double portion into your cup. This is a beautiful energy of receiving your cup overflowing from the seraphim. They are elemental angels. They represent mind, body, and spirit. And they're also known as salt, sulfur, and mercury. That's the elements they represent. So they're very powerful, although they are tiny. And we have the Four of Wands. This is the stability and wonderful anchored energy of having a solid household, which means if you are moving, you are putting yourself in a place of solid, good communication and a very nice doorway to the future. And for some of you, this may mean that you're either going to shack up or, or uh, tie the knot. Either way that goes, this is the energy of being in that relationship kind of thing where you make it a little more serious now it can also represent the work area because it is the rods and that's also showing that you're going to be stable and secure so now we have our ten of cups that we would have had had i not skipped it over <laughs> and now we can begin again here is the world card as your first card out as the clarifiers and this is she is Dancing through this vortex of energy that's been created by the air and air, water, earth, and fire. So she is ready to step into her promotion, into her beautiful success. So you remember I told you you were winning and you didn't know it? That's a, that's the win on top of that five of swords. So you're definitely winning. No doubt. There it is, Ace of Rods. This is where something grows roots and starts to flourish and the sun is in the background, just beaming away, burning away all the clouds that are blocking the sun. And you are in a successful energy. Now, whether this is a relationship or job matters not. It all equals success. New information, communication and negotiation, and sometimes air travel. This is a lot of charged energy coming through. It's all fertile. So there's that queen in the fertility. So whatever you're creating here is working out. M multiplied. And we have your Gemini Major Arcana card, the lovers. So there you are in the energy of your divine higher Beautiful energy with Archangel Raphael flying over the scene there to help protect and guard that energy. That's your that's your patron angel for Gemini. All of a sudden, out of the blue, you get the notification. So it looks like to me somebody's waiting to hear that they've got the job. And you will in, in very short order because there it is. There's the moment. Now... That is like a lightning strike. That knight of swords comes in and it is done. So it can be a phone call out of the blue. It could be a happenstance that you run into somebody and they give you this information. However it's coming, it's coming in fast. So uh, if you're wanting to do this, if you're wanting to change locations, um, get ready. Because you're going to have this moment of fear. It's like, oh my gosh, it's happening too fast. I don't know what to do. All of those swords that are on the wall, I want you to pay attention to something. Nobody else is, the swords aren't pointing at her. She's using this. She's doing this. This is all of her fear. Okay. Because she stepped out of her comfort zone and she's going, oh my gosh, I'm risking everything. Sometimes you have to in order to get your dream, right? So just know that these thoughts are not real. She's imagining them. They aren't real. She's just thinking the thoughts. And now if she locks into them and believes them to be true, she creates what? Blocks. Hello. So just know that when you feel the fear, that's your signpost to know you're on point. You're, on, you're going the right direction because the fear is showing up only because this is a big deal you're about to do. 
And then we have the seven of rods telling you to stand your ground and don't settle for less. Don't talk yourself out of it and don't let anybody else talk you out of it. Because this king of pentacles is here to help anchor you in that energy of abundance. Now we have that seraphim energy is coming in with the celebration right there. As you're coming into that page of pentacles, that's the offer coming in. And they are more than happy to, to assist you and celebrate your victory with you. And they are very much giving you the double portion. And then you have to all believers, which is a beautiful card about keeping your faith as you walk that talk with this Virgo hermit. So beautiful energies coming in there. When the last one for the career and finance, high priestess. And she's here to tell you, use your higher mind to allow yourself to move with the universe. It is hard sometimes when it's something that you didn't see um, yourself doing, right? It, you knew maybe you, you, you had some kind of ability, but you don't know if it's really something you could stand on, right? Believe me, I know. <laughs> Just keep working with it and you will know because here, now see, you might have more than one offer. Um, there's the page of pentacles. So there may be more money on the table. So understand you don't have to alleviate one thing for the other. You might get two things for, for coming in two flows of money. It doesn't have to be a job. It could be some other source. Remember your job is not your source. The universe is your source. Hello, two of cups. We will take that with a fine. How do you do? Because this is divine alignment with your higher self. With your soul energy coming in to help put you bridge the gap and help you walk your path. And it can be a person in your life. Whether it's a divine partnership as in relationship or divine partnership as in job. It is a fabulous energy. Two of Cups. Thank you so much. And the Page of Cups telling you everything is coming in in abundance. This wave is like the Japanese famous uh, painter or I don't know if it's a painting or if it's a uh, ink done but it is a beautiful the, the big wave that comes it's, it's the re representing the abundance of the universe in its constant state of motion and the wave is continuous that may pull back but it will always come back in and that's saying you are being given everything you need in order for you to succeed you will be fed you've got the page holding that fish in a cup extending it to you you will be provided for. And last but certainly not least, we have temperance. Temperance is the energy of Archangel Uriel. Uriel is a beautiful energy of synchronicity. And she's doing alchemy to align all the things as you step forward into your best possible life. So, and it wouldn't be your best possible life, guys, if you didn't have a little fear to go with it. Because... It's going to be scary when you're when you're going when you're dreaming for something big and it starts to sh to materialize. Yeah, you get the heebie-jeebies a little bit, but you can push past it. You have the strength to do so. It's telling you to do that. It's also saying it up here, don't give up. It's coming. So, you've got all these beautiful confirmations coming in with all these pages telling you it's it's on its way, it's on its way. So, I don't know if you're getting money to help you move with <laughs> <laughs> or if you've got two separate things that are going to cash you out as you go forward. So many blessings to you. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Namaste, my friends.